Question number 19. A triangle ABC is a rectangle at point A. The vertices of triangle are A, 1, negative 2, B, 5, 4, and C, M, N. The equation of line BC is 5Y minus X is equals to 15. Determine 1. The equation of line AC in the form AX plus BY plus C is equals to 0 where A and B, A, B and C are integers. So that is the first part of the question. Uh, so we're going to begin by sketching that triangle. So let me sketch it here. So this is um, triangle A. So A is there. This is a B. Then you have C. So A is a 1, negative 2. Then B is 5, 4. And C, M, N. So the first part of the question, the equation of line AC. So to get the equation of line AC, as you can see, uh, this triangle is a right angled at point A. So once we get the gradient of line AB, it will assist us to get the gradient of line AC. Since we know that if we let the gradient of line AB be M1 and the gradient of line AC be M2, those two lines are perpendicular, if we take the product of the gradient, the products of gradients of two lines that are perpendicular to each other should give negative 1. So this uh, is already going to help us to get the gradient of line AC which will in turn help us to get the equation of that line. So there's gradient of line AB. So gradient of AB which we've let to be M1 will be given by change in Y over change in X. So this will be 4 minus negative 2 divided by change in X which is 5 minus 1. And this will give um, 3 over 2 when you simplify. So by getting that, uh, this is M1. So remember this, M1 times M2. So we've already got uh, M1 which is uh, 3 over 2. So it is possible now to get M2 and uh, M2 will be 2 thirds. So this is the gradient of line AC, 2 thirds. Now for AC, we have now one point on that line and we have the gradient. So those two can enable us to get the equation of that line. So given the point and the gradient, we can get. So what are you going to do? Um, get the equation of line AC, we shall use uh, one point that is uh, 1, 2, 1, negative 2, I mean, and then we introduce another general point on the same line, X, Y, and we know the gradient is uh, 2 thirds. Um, the gradient is uh, negative 2 thirds, I mean, so not 2 thirds, it is negative, so this gradient is supposed to be negative 2 thirds negative to that so the gradient of this line point of correction here this is a negative two thirds since uh gradient of a b is three over two so when you multiply you should get m1 times m2 you should get negative one so gradient of a c is um negative two thirds so how do we get the gradient uh, to get the gradient we take a change in y which is y subtract negative 2 which will be y plus 2 then change in x which will be x minus 1 and this one should give negative 2 over 3 which is the gradient so from here you can just cross multiply 3 times uh, y plus 2 is equals to negative 2 multiplied by x minus 1 like that so opening these brackets you get 3y plus 6 is equals to negative 2x plus 2. So now we need to reorganize this until we get the equation in this format. So organizing this um, equation. So 
bringing negative 2x to the left hand side you get 2x and then um, 3y is there so plus 3y then c uh, if we take plus 2 to the left hand side that will give a plus 4 which is equals to 0 so we've given it in the required format so that is how you're supposed to work out the first part the question now the next part the coordinates of point c the coordinates of point c now how do we get the coordinates of point c now we're going to use the equations of lines uh, we already have the equation of line bc so the equation of line bc equation of line bc is given as uh, 5y minus x is equals to 15 and then um, the other equation you're going to use is the equation of a b the equation of um, you see how we have um, not even a, b, a b, the, the one that we've already obtained a c the equation of a c the equation of a c then i'll explain why i'm using those two the equation of a c which is uh, 2x plus 3y plus 4 is equals to 0. Now the reason why I'm using these two equations BC and AC the two lines are intersecting at point C. So in order to get this point of intersection which will be given by the coordinates MN we shall solve the two equations simultaneously. So these two lines the equation of uh, AC and the equation of BC, those two lines are intersecting. So in order to get the point of intersection which will give us the coordinates of C, we shall solve these two equations simultaneously. So we need just to reorganize these and I'm going to do that. So 5y minus x is equals to 15. I want to reorganize the second equation of AC. It will be 3y plus 2x is equals to negative 4. So you can use any suitable method to work out these. So I'll we'll decide to use uh, you can use uh, elimination. So let me eliminate x and multiply the first equation by by 2. So we'll get um, 10y 10y minus 2x is equals to 30. And this one is 3y plus 2x is equals to negative 4. So to eliminate x, I will simply add negative 2x plus 2x. I will eliminate that. So 10y plus 3y will give 13y. Negative 2x plus 2x will be 0. Then 30 plus negative 4. This will give uh, 26. So y is equals to 2. So having y is equals to 2, you can now just use a, can use this equation, 5y minus x is equals to 15. Just substitute when y is equals to 2, you shall get uh, 5 times y. So 5 times 2, you get 10 minus uh, x is equals to 15. So x therefore will be x will be 10 minus 15 which will be minus 5 so we've got the point of intersection so which will be given by x and y so the point of intersection is uh, negative 5 negative 5 2 and in this case this is what represents c point c so therefore point c will be given by uh, negative 5 and uh, 2 so this is a M and this one is N so that is how I'm supposed to work with that part part B a line passes through point A and is parallel to line BC determine the x-intercept of the line so a line passes through point A so let's go to that uh, point A point A Point A is uh, 1, negative 2, 1, negative 2. So 
so point A is uh, 1, negative 2, and is parallel to BC. So we need to get the gradient of BC. What is the gradient of that line BC? We need to get that. And um, the gradient of BC, uh, since we have the equation of BC, which is a 5y minus x is equals to 15. 5y minus x, 5y minus x is equals to 15. So I want to get the gradient. So let me reorganize this equation. The form y is equals to mx plus c. So I will get y is equals to x over 5 plus uh, 3. So the gradient of this uh, line BC is therefore 1 over 5. Since that line that passes through point A is parallel to BC, that line should have the gradient as 1 over 5. Remember that if two lines are parallel to each other, the gradients of those two lines must be the same. So that line also must have the gradient of 1 over 5. And it is passing through 1, 2. So we need to get the equation of that line. So let's get the equation of that line. So it is passing through 1, negative 2. And so we can, to get the equation, we can use this point and introduce another general point on that line. Now knowing the gradient, we can proceed. Our gradient is a change in y, which is y minus negative 2, which is y plus 2 over change in x, x minus 1 should give uh, the gradient which is 1 over 5. Cruise multiplying, get 5 multiply by y plus 2 is equals to 1 times uh, x minus 1 to give that. So this will give uh, 5y plus 10 is equals to x minus 1. So organizing this equation in the form y is equals to mx plus c. We can just uh, leave it in this form 5y minus x is equals to negative 11. Yeah, it is like that. So that is the equation of the line. Now the question is um, asking determine the x intercept of the line. So at x intercept, at x intercept, the value of y should be 0. So in this equation, the x-intercept, we have y, y should be 0, so y should be 0, and um, when we substitute y with 0, so this is what you're going to get, so this will give uh, x-intercept as 11, x-intercept is 11, remember this concept that at x-intercept, the value of y is 0. So just take the, that equation that you obtained and then just replace or substitute y with 0 and that will give you the x-intercept as 11.